Hey everybody, it's Jack Bowinkle here with the Spartan Media Network to take you through Michigan State women's basketball 79-42 win over Western Michigan on Sunday night. Grace Van Sluten led MSU again in scoring with 18 and also pulled in a season-high 13 rebounds to notch her first double-double of the season and 11th overall in her career. She also led the Spartans in assists with four. Julia Aralt scored in double figures for the fifth straight game to open up the season for the Spartans. She also had a double-double in the victory, scoring 15 points and pulling in 10 boards. Michigan State forced 25 Bronco turnovers, which, in only five games, brings their season total to a ridiculous 136 turnovers forced. They also scored 21 second-chance points compared to only four scored by the Broncos. Now, let's take a listen to the voice of Michigan State women's basketball, Dalton Shetler, as he takes you through some of the best plays of the first half from Kalamazoo. I'll catch you at the break. Here in their first trip down the floor, Van Suten doubled, kicks out, Halleck right corner, triple, ring it up! That was the friendliest of bounces you can find. Hit the rim, bounced up, touched the backboard, dropped through, and on the inbounds we have a whistle. It looks like the Broncos stepped over the end line. Michigan State's gonna get it right back. Tate will try a right wing three, ring it up! Jocelyn Tate dials another long one up. Eight to two, MSU leads against Western Michigan. Hampton, left wing three, ring it up! Nyla Hampton has yet to miss! What a shot from her from distance of past the left wing. It's a Spartan 7-0 run with 3.50 to play in the first quarter. Inside it's A-Roll, fade away. Oh, oh my, it dances all over the rim and drops in. She gets it and the Spartans move the other way. Shoemate, trailer three, ring it up. Emma Shoemate knocks down a distance long ball. And that's her first three points of the day. 26 to eight, MSU leads. Spartans on a 9-0 run here. Michigan State held a 46 to 21 advantage at the break and shot a solid 54.6 from the floor in the first half. The second half was more of the same, with MSU having no trouble keeping a comfortable margin over their in-state foe. I'll throw you back over to Dalton so we can hear the Spartans ring it up a few more times in the second half, and after that, we will hear from head coach Robin Freilich on her thoughts about the victory. Van Sluten rips away a rebound, out to Aralt, right corner three, miss it. Van Sluten with another rebound. The putback is good. Grace Van Sluten now with 10 points, nine rebounds. Unbelievable work. Western Michigan gives them a taste of their own medicine. It's stolen away, but what a chase down block by Grace Van Sluten. You've got to be kidding me. Just shot out of a cannon down the floor, kept up with the guards, and swatted it off the goalpost. Driving from the left wing, out to Aral, right wing three, swirling around, and down it goes. Ring it up for Julia Aral. Aral now with 11 points on this Sunday afternoon, and the Spartans lead by 29. Back to Kimball with a right slot three, ring it up. Abby Kimball dials one up. That's her first three of the day. Woodard, a right slot three, ring it up. She picks up right where she left off last time out. Julianne Woodard is a shooter. Put it in the scouting report. I was going to say, offensively, I mean, you talked about the fact that just the ball just wasn't going in. It's just one of those days. <laughs> but defensively, you hold Western Michigan to 42. It felt like the defense never really let up. Yeah. We really challenged our team after the Eastern Kentucky game. Um, I, I just thought our defense had no purpose. It had especially in the first half, it had very little purpose and it had very little effort. And if you put those two things behind a defense, you're not going to be very effective. So we really challenged them this week. Like, hey, we gotta, we got to be a team that while we're playing games, we, we get better. Um, and our press only works if it has purpose and effort behind it. So I thought our team really responded to that. I saw us engaged in the full court and just as engaged in the half court to finish the possession. And does it tell you something about your squad that they're still able to – pursue that kind of defensive tenacity that effort even though the the ball isn't going in because Tom Izzo always says that it's easier to defend for players when they're making baskets because for whatever reason they feel more engaged they get disengaged yeah. if they don't make shots which is a player a, a player problem but do, does that tell you something that they still did that today as a team well I think um, if if how you play is based on making shots you're going to be a pretty inconsistent player <laughs> right that's something hard to count on you know over yeah. and over and over and over again so you know I think real toughness is just doing the next right thing right I think it's playing that possession with what's required and um, you know I, I think that's easier said than done but I think if you really want to be a very very good team and a very very good player you have to be able to uh, play the game the right way regardless of how the ball's bouncing how the calls are being made 
um, and, and keep keep at it. In the end, it was another show up, show out win for the Spartans as they improved to five and zero on the season. They return to East Lansing to take on the Detroit Mercy Titans on Wednesday night. I'll hope to see you after that one. And until next time, thanks for tuning in and take care.